What do you use for lifting things? Well, I guess most of the time you use your hands. If something's very heavy, you may need to use a crane or a forklift truck. To lift yourself from one floor to another in a building, you may use an escalator or a lift. But I tell you I can lift the craziest objects with the craziest things. For example, see this milk bottle here? I could lift that with a single straw without touching the bottle. What is more, I could lift this bunch of rather heavy items of cutlery with a single little teaspoon without touching the teaspoon or the cutlery. And what is more, I could lift this glass with that balloon. Furthermore, I could take the very same balloon, bring it over to the fan and get the fan to lift the balloon without touching either of them. You're saying that's not only crazy, that's impossible. <laughs> Well, is the man crazy or can he do it? Let's start with the milk bottle. How can I lift it with a straw? Hmm, well, I won't do it by pushing the straw on the outside of the bottle. What I will do is make a little bend in the straw and then push it down inside the bottle until the short end of the straw wedges across near the neck of the bottle. Then I'll lift it up and slowly but surely the bottle will come up. I've lifted a bottle with a straw. Hmm, what about the cutlery? All of that cutlery needs to be lifted by the little teaspoon without me touching the teaspoon. How are we going to do that? Well, I will need something else to help me. And that's the empty case of a ballpoint pen. There we are. What I'll do is thread the piece of string through the empty case of the ballpoint pen. Can you guess what I'm going to do next? I used pressure to help me lift the milk bottle with the straw. This time I'm going to use a very special kind of force called centrifugal force. You know what that is? That's the force you feel when you ride on a merry-go-round or bucking horses or any of those other fairground rides that result in spinning you around. It's the outward pull that you get when anything spins. Okay, here we go. Now, I'll put it in that position there. Now I'm not touching the spoon. Can you guess what I'm going to do with that teaspoon? I'm going to make it spin around. And as it does so, it exerts an outward force, and that pulls up on the string, and look what happens to our heavy objects. They come right up and off the ground. When you do this at home, I would suggest you do it outside and don't have people standing too close to you. What about our third lifting problem? It was to lift the glass with the balloon. Oh, that's an easy one. You've guessed it already, haven't you? I simply place the balloon inside the mouth of the glass and blow. And up comes the glass. That was an easy one, and once again, pressure has helped me. All right, how are we going to get the fan to lift this balloon? First, I'll blow it up a little way. Then I'll tie it off, and I'm going to switch the fan on. Then I'll simply present the balloon to the fan and see what it does with it. There we are. Stream of air is now moving upwards. Let's see what happens. Stream of air lifts the balloon up and holds it there. What's actually happening is the fast moving air is going around the outside of the balloon, creating a region of low pressure, lower pressure than the air in the room. So it stays there as long as we like. What on earth is the use of that? Well, a man by the name of Marvin Kratter found a use for it. In a building in Las Vegas, he has a huge fan at the base, driven by a DC-4 aeroplane engine, and the whole thing is called the flyaway. And for just $15, you put on a balloon-like suit, which makes you large and fat and round, and you jump into the stream of air, which is moving very rapidly up inside the building. And you've guessed it, you float, just as our balloon floated here. Well, that cost you $15. One day you might see those sorts of things at a fun park. You won't see them just yet, but you will see lots of other devices that lift you up and give you a lot of fun. Things like uh, roller coasters, and things that spin you around this way and that way and so on. Oh